right, guys. So hopefully we got a good view for you here uh, with regard to uh, the saw. As reviewed last time, we'll pull out the wrench and we'll start to work on this guy. So we, of course, have loosened up the, uh, the nuts. We're going to pull those off. Now, I did not clean the saw last time I used it, so it's a little dirty in here. That's why we have our trusty brush. Got a little bit of bar oil leakage going on. Some junk will sweep up afterwards. See some caked up caked up uh, sawdust in there and get that all out of there. Okay, and this was the this was the blade that came with the saw. There. So we'll uh, we'll pull that the whole bar off. Grab a paper towel. Now again, I'm just cleaning off the caked on sawdust and from the last time we used it. Okay, there we go. So the part that tightens the chain inside is this little guy right here. And then when you turn this, when you turn the screw, right here, this little black screw, plastic screw, it causes this to move up and down here and that uh, is what tightens the chain. So, we got our brand new set of two chains, so we're going to break into that. The right one, we can compare teeth. And the teeth are the same. Got a nice brand new blade, chainsaw chain, chainsaw blade. In the cutting direction, of course, it does matter which way you mount it. Uh, the teeth have to be taking a bite out of the wood. These little teeth here have to be the part that's taking the bite out of wood. This is the part that controls how deep the bite is. This little piece right here. And then this piece right here, piece right here is the actual the, the thing that takes the bite. So what we'll do is put this on and again I'm always concerned that it fits here at the end of the the pulley here that no, that's where you want it to, to check your fit and make sure that that's doing the, the thing it's supposed to do there and that the teeth are lined up well the other thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to unscrew the adjusting block. We're going to make, basically make it looser so it's easier to get the chain to start. So I'm just going to loosen this up a little bit. You can, I don't know if you can see it moving here. It moves very gradually and slowly so you can make very fine adjustments and so that it holds when you uh, when you put it on there. Okay, so we have now our chain on the bar. Got our nuts handy. Got this guy handy. You lay it in the top of the bar like so. And then we're going to put this on here and this around the back here. We got ourselves a basic start. We push it up flush against the saw. We'll put this guy on now. This needs to go in that hole right there. It's labeled for the adjusting block. So we'll make sure that that lines up. This piece here is designed to go in the hole down here so that that will line up. 
And it's just a matter of making sure everything lines up and goes home. I'm going to move the bar back and forth. So I had to slide it out that way a little bit to get it to drop in and be able to tighten up. Now I'm going to put these on finger tight just to hold my bar and chain in place. Then I'm going to begin to tighten the chain up and you will see the chain where it's dangling there is going to begin to come up. Bringing it up to the bar. Now this is the part where you don't want to make it too tight or too loose. So I'm going to run it back and forth a little bit. I'm going to do this again. Because what can happen is the bar can move up and down and that can adjust the... As long as it has a little wiggle in it like that, it can actually change the, the tension of the chain. So I'm going to make sure it can move freely with very little friction. It's going to have a little wiggle in it. That's fine because I haven't finished tightening it down yet. And that's about all we need. And as the chain warms up, it'll actually loosen a little bit more. So we might have to make another fine adjustment, which is really easy because all you have to do to adjust it when you're running it is loosen these until they're hand tight and then adjust it on the screw right down here. So real simple when you're running it to go ahead and just loosen these. And if you need to tighten it back up again, if it gets too loose, then just loosen these a little bit, tighten, tighten it back to where it's supposed to be and you're good to go. Mm -hmm.